question. It's Larry in Waterford, and the question is, why are wind speeds higher near the coast compared to inland locations? A perfect example of this is now during what is now Tropical Storm Isaac. If you were watching some of the national coverage, you saw those strong winds right along the coast, and then towards the inland spots, even in the city of New Orleans, the winds were not quite as strong. Well, when wind moves across open water, it accelerates. There's nothing to slow it down. I want to show you this graphic uh, that's of southeast Louisiana. You see the red arrows really whipping from east to west. And notice how they slow up, and you see the trees there. Well, not only are there trees, but there are higher elevations and buildings, homes. That slows the speed of wind as it makes its way off the coast. So that's why some of the strongest winds from a hurricane, from a tropical storm, or any storm for that matter, are going to be felt near open bodies of water. And that's what we had some of those gusts 94 miles per hour, Metairie, or uh, down towards uh, Boothville, which is right on the coast, New Orleans peak gusts between 65 and 70. So a big difference there. So if you have a question for the weather team, email us at uh, asktheweatherteam at cbs6albany.com or head to our website, cbs6albany.com. Another fun fact to compare, New Orleans did have some of those gusts, and you know what? You know where that was? Do you want to take a guess? Oh, my goodness. Oh, throwing you under the bus. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to go with no comment. No comment. <laughs> For right now. Actually, the higher uh, buildings, some of the skyscrapers, actually could see a category or two higher than what the hurricane is, mm. since they're above all the friction, above okay. all the trees, and they could see winds 110 miles per hour, wow. and that's why so many of the buildings uh, had their windows busted out in those strong winds. Today. Sure. Well, certainly a good example right now to illustrate the point about those winds, but of course, we're keeping an eye on our folks down there and that's hoping they're doing okay tonight.